Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we are going to cover one of the summer 22 beta release feature, which is bulk delete inactive picklist values. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to understand what is bulk delete inactive picklist values. How can you enable it in our summer 22 developer org? And how can you delete the any inactive picklist values which are uh, unused following it up with a demo? So let us understand a business use case. There may be various scenarios wherein we could have multiple pick list values which are inactive and unused in the system, right? And um, managing those inactive pick list values was a huge overhead and it is really difficult to maintain those many number of inactive pick list values which are inactive in the system. Consider that in an organization, we may have 100 pick list values which are active and we may also have 80 to 90 pick list values which are inactive and unused. Now, in order to delete those pick list values, what you have to do, you have to delete each pick list value one by one. So this is a very time taking process and it is a tedious activity. So over the period of time, what is happening? The number of inactive pick list values in the system were increasing and it may reaches, it may reach the limit, right? So there was only one of the solution which was available was to remove those values one by one. But now as a part of the summer 22, in order to solve this business problem, Salesforce came up with this new feature called as bulk delete inactive pick list values. So this particular bulk delete inactive pick list values, it is something which is uh, available on a field wherein you can see a button called as delete unused value. When you click on that specific button, delete unused values, it will the process will run in the background and it will delete any inactive unused pick list values. And once the process is complete, an automated email will be triggered which, which will tell us that the process has been completed. And you can also very well go ahead and take a look into the status. That is something which you can go into the setup audit trial and verify whether the, what is the process that is being completed. So in order to delete, sorry, in order to enable this as a step one, you have to enable this particular settings in the pick list setting. So let's log in into our Salesforce uh, um, developer of which is summer 22. And let us first enable this particular setting in our developer org, which is summer 22. So I have my developer org open. So this is my Salesforce developer summer 22 org. So when I navigate to the data from the setup, type in data. And here you can see that we have pick list settings. Let's navigate to the pick list settings. And here you can see bulk delete inactive pick list values. So this is what is a setting that you have to enable as a step one. Once you enable it, let it, uh, I think it is taking, it is refreshing. So we have, okay. Let me enable it, yeah. So as it says, opt in to try the beta feature that lets you bulk delete all the inactive unused values for the pick list field. So this is a new summer 22 beta release feature, which is available. Using this particular feature, you can delete all the inactive pick list values which are unused in a bulk. So let us now go to the object manager navigate to any of the custom field, go to the fields and relationship, which is having the data type as pick list. Here you can see that I have five pick list values which are active and one of the pick list value is inactive and maximum limit is thousand. Now let us try to create few pick list values. Admin. Omni channel, something like this. SFDC one stop, dashboards. So I have created four new pick list values. So it is says admin is already there. Let us try to remove that. So it is clearly giving me the notification error saying that duplicate values not allowed. Click on save. Now I have created three new pick list values. Here you can now see that active pick list values are eight, inactive is one. 
in this inactive section you see this new button called as delete unused values so once you enable that particular setting in the pick list settings then you will be able to see this specific button so there are a couple of things that you have to re uh, remember this button is available on the custom fields on any object object could be a standard object or a custom object and um, this is not available this button will not be available for standard pick list and if at all the pick list is multi select the third point that you have to remember is it is this button will not be available if you are using any global value set now if at all you have set of you have a lot of different pick list values right and those pick list values could be inactive but if at all any of the pick list value is being referenced in any of the record that value will not be deleted why it is not be, it will not be deleted because the value is being referenced in a record right so that is the reason even though you click on this particular button which is mainly used to delete inactive unused pick list values it since this particular pick list value is being referenced it will not be deleting and the fifth point that you have to remember is if you are using any restricted pick list values then you cannot use the bulk delete that is delete unused values is in this particular feature you will not be able to see now let us try to deactivate few of these uh, values and uh, let us use that button to delete all the inactive and unused fields at a single shot so i'm deactivating couple of fields whatever i've created right those three or four fields that four values that i've created i'm just trying to delete those so now you can see i have four inactive values let us try to use this delete unused values so when you click on this the process will run in the background and this button will be disabled let us see that so here it says all inactive pick list values that aren't used in any records will be deleted and they cannot be recovered so that is what we are looking out for right so let us click on okay once you click on okay this button will be disabled and it will the process will run in the background and if at all any of the pick list values is being referenced in any of the record that particular pick list value will not be deleted let us verify that so we are running the process at the background right now let us go to verify the status you can check in view audit trial yeah you can see delete unused the action inactive pick list values initiated for pick list video topics because this is my field right which is a custom field on entity so the process is initiated so if the process is initiated i am going to get a email as well so you see here it triggered an email and it gives me the details about the job to delete inactive unused pick list values for video topics field on the sfdc one stop object has been completed successfully so this is the email i got it so automatic email once the process is completed now let's navigate back to the object and verify whether all the fields are deleted or not so i'm navigating back here you see here all the three pick list values which were inactive and which were unused those pick list values got deleted you might be wondering what might have happened that this is not being deleted this is not deleted because there may be some reference of this particular value in any of the record so that is the reason this particular value is not deleted so now let us try to check uh, whether the value is being referenced or not so i'm opening any uh, application here go to the object here you can see right this is the record the record here you see this video topics field you have this beginners video even though this beginners video value is inactive but it is being referenced in one of the 
fields, right? One of the record, sorry, one of the record. That is the reason you're not able to delete that pick list value because it is being referenced. Now, let us try to change the value of this particular record to something else. Developer tutorial, okay? Now, that value is not being referenced. Beginner's video is not being referenced. Now, let us try to use this button and delete it. So, this should get deleted. Now, you see, right? Once you delete it, this button will be disabled. Let us try to refresh it. Because that particular value is not being referenced, it should be deleted soon. So this is something which, as it is a background process, it's going to take some time. Let's also navigate to our other developer org and uh, go open any of the custom, any of the object. Uh, let's open any of the custom fields, which is data type as pick list. So you, here you see product. Even though if you're deactivating one of the fields, this org is not summer 22 yet. You are not able to see this button called as delete unused value. This is only available in your summer 22 org. So now let us navigate back, try to refresh our uh, new developer org. You see that specific developers, uh, that particular value, it's now being deleted and you are not able to see this button as enabled. So that is how you can use this particular button called as delete unused values. Using this delete unused values, you will be able to delete all the pick list values which are inactive and unused. So let us also talk about one of the other feature of summer 22 by navigating into the pick list settings. When I go to na data, navigate to pick list settings, here you see, right? You see this new setting. So this is also a new setting which is available as a summer 22 beta release feature. It is, it is since it is not mentioned as beta, it is not beta. So it is already GA. It is available in our summer 22. So what it says, you can get a list of custom pick list fields with inactive values. So when you click on this email me, what happens? If at all you have any custom pick list values, which are more than 4,000 inactive values, it will send out an email to us. Let's click on email me. It is going to generate an email. It will list down all of those because in my org, we don't have more than 4,000 inactive values, right? So I will not be able to get that specific list. So use this information to delete inactive unused values in the identified pick list. When you remove inactive values, it helps to ensure the stability and performance of your pick list. Let's go here. Let's try to refresh it. See, what does it says? We reviewed the custom pick list in your org. So this is my org ID. They are saying that they reviewed all the custom pick list and they were not able to find any of the pick list which are more than 4,000 inactive values. Thank you. So that is what is the email. Suppose if at all you have more than 4,000 pick list values, then it may provide more details in the email. So that's all we have for today's session. I hope you were able to get uh, to know more about this summer 22 beta uh, release feature, which is bulk delete inactive pick list values. So if at all you find our videos helpful and informative, please continue to like, share and subscribe our channel, SFDC One Stop. Until we come up with our next video session, please do take care of yourself. Signing off, US Namrata Kadiala. Bye-bye.